Okay guys, so I am back and this week's vlog is all about preparing for labor and delivery. Can you guys believe I'm three weeks away from meeting my baby girl? So the most important thing that I'm doing this week is sterilizing, cleaning, preparing, getting everything together so I'm not doing anything last minute. I made patsicles like I've seen on TikTok so you guys get to make those with me. I'm cleaning up my entire apartment, just making sure that it is in the condition for my baby to be brought home. And I have another appointment where you guys get to see an updated ultrasound picture. Watch the vlog to see that. And I pack my hospital bag. Jasmine Marie. what's up guys so today i am back and i'm vlogging my pregnancy i really honestly haven't been doing much so it's been hard to vlog but finally i have a busy 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 week so i'm going to be vlogging everything i am three weeks away from giving birth it could happen before then or after but we're officially three weeks away from my due date i am about to go get my hospital bag ready so i have a couple things that i need to get like nursing bras and snacks and a whole bunch of stuff as you guys can see i'm about to pop i'm literally so scared so nervous and this whole time i haven't been nervous or scared at all so surreal that it's about to happen in like three weeks i've really been into iced coffee lately so i just wanted to share with you guys my recipe like these five items together makes the best iced coffee i've ever had let me tell you like better than what i buy from starbucks so mm, when i tell y'all this is so mother freaking good huh, okay so i made it to target i gotta get some um pads and diapers adult diapers from here i got my mask on because you know I'm about to get birth, can't get sick. And I heard hoes still got COVID out here. It's going on. Hit the water, water. <laughs> Do you think my butt is a medium or a large? Let's look. That is definitely getting large. <laughs> I should get large, okay. I need to get night defense, right? Yeah. But this one comes with more. Well, I, I don't know. 17. I'll get pregnant and let you know what's best for me. <laughs> oh, these come with 40. Okay. Those come with 60. Oh, never mind. I don't think I need 60. You know what should be getting Yeah. Least. 48 is good? Yeah. I just go at mom's house. She got the whole. So I decided to go with these pads. Level 6 maxi pads and then these i got a smaller one because my mom said she never wore a diaper so if i need more i'll come back but yeah this is what we got so far okay so guys i couldn't find the witch hairs i was looking for but i decided to go with this one because it's alcohol free even though it says facial toner and this one should work I just got back from grocery shopping and I managed to get everything in the house on this wagon. I'm about to start cleaning, making pasticles and doing everything I told you guys I was going to do. I also have to install this wig for this hair company. If you guys have been seeing me post a lot of like install videos, just know I'm getting paid to do it. I know it's not the type of content that most of my viewers want to see, but just respect it. I got to get them coins and... When, if you don't like that type of video, skip it. If you do, yeah. So I'm about to wash the sheets and stuff. This is just a mattress protector. So I'm gonna put this on a mattress right now. Ah! It's on. Okay, so if you guys remember, the changing station was literally just like this. But I feel like she could have rolled off. She could roll off too easily, so I bought this. 
to go on top is super comfortable. This is the first batch of laundry. This is all her blankets, sheets, some clothes, like socks and hats and mittens all in here. So I'm about to wash this first and then I have literally didn't even know I had this much stuff but I have all this stuff here that needs to be washed. So I have a long night ahead of me. Shout out to my mother freaking sister for being so amazing for being so amazing and helping me with everything. Um, right now, we're about to take a little break and go to get something to eat. When we get home, I'm gonna do the pad sickles. I wanted to show you guys some new stuff I got. I got this baby bottle sterilizer. This baby bottle sterilizer and then this kettle. This is like for formula, so it's like to warm up formula. And then here's all my labor snacks. Fruit roll-ups fruit snacks, Pringles. I also got some Cheez-Its, but my sister started eating those. Popcorn, goldfish, gummy bears, mints, Starburst. And then I also got some apple juice and Capri Suns. I don't We made it. Oh, I finally got some stretch marks. Like, how in my last month of pregnancy do I get stretch marks? It was bound to close. But they're little, though. They're not even that big. But I knocked on hella wood saying I wasn't going to get them. Now I got them. Yeah, I just kept talking about stretch marks and shit. I know. And I said, you know what? I got you. Let me give this bitch stretch marks. Give her some tiger stripes. <laughs> God damn, I hate walking. I mean, sorry, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate walking so far thank you what a gentleman thank you i know <laughs> we are children let me just say oh she got herself a yes ma'am okay <laughs> so i just got back home and um i put the second load of laundry for the baby into the washing machine i feel like my camera's crooked Hold on. I while i'm doing that I'm going to make the pad sickles. I went with the Poise pads level six. So these are super, super thick day and night pads. I'm about to make all these pads. As you guys can see, this pad is big and thick as hell. Like, look at this. This is damn near should be a diaper. Jenna, look at this pad. <laughs> this is like a, for a, a big old grandma coochie. And I'm gonna start off by putting aloe vera aloe vera the freedom mom and then the witch hazel so I'm just gonna mix that all in there real nice real nice close it up and then put it back into the wrap like say like so sorry guys i be popping out with accents don't mind me so i'm gonna just do two on camera and then i'll show you guys when i'm done so aloe vera witch hazel Freedom mom. Freedom mom. <laughs> this is for your coochie ladies because I heard after pregnancy we be going through it. And I'm not ready to find out about that yet but I'm about to find out pretty soon. Y'all tell me why when I was just moving some stuff earlier. Like you know ladies you're, you lose your mucus plug and like in pieces. And I started losing some of my mucus plug. I called my mom, I was like, mom, what's going on? She was like, I know you're good. Like that happens, so. Okay, so while you guys enjoy me cleaning, I'm going to come on here and talk to you guys about, you know, my life, what's been going on, a little event session, because I feel like we don't do these that often anymore. I don't really post that often anymore. But I promise when Milan comes, I'm going to have a lot more time to talk to y'all. Because I feel like we're friends. If y'all feel like we're friends, let me know. If you don't, then 
you're probably a hater, but that doesn't matter. Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all, like, pregnancy for me has really been such a crazy, crazy journey and experience. And now that it's coming to an end, it's like, damn, I wish I enjoyed more parts of it. Like, you know, I feel like I was stressed a lot of my pregnancy because of things I was dealing with. And I wasn't able to enjoy it to my full potential, but now I'm really just trying to soak in these last few weeks that I have with her in my tummy before she gets here because life is about to change. Like, y'all, I'm 20 years old and I have so much to learn and it's crazy that I'm going to be on this journey with my daughter. Like, wow. And as much as I want to tell you guys, like, everything I've gone through, I just... I just can't <laughs> but eventually one day I feel like I'm going to come on here and really like share with you guys my journey because I know that there's like some girls that can relate and you know understand my experiences so yeah I don't really even know what else I'm talking about this is just like a vent session just getting some things off my chest here definitely excited and I'm scared for birth y'all like I swear I haven't been scared this entire time but I'm literally like have so much anxiety about so many things that I can't even explain to y'all so if you are a praying person and you know whatever you believe in pray for me send me good positive vibes pray for my baby pray that she's healthy and I pray that I have a safe delivery and I just love everyone that supported me genuinely throughout this experience. And that's really all I have to say. So without me talking your heads off, and join me clean up for these last 30 seconds before we get into the rest of the vlog. Love you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Y'all, when I, uh, I literally got maybe two hours of sleep. I have bags. I look disgusting. That's why the camera's not facing me. I do not care. Um, yeah, we're about to go. Um, I'm headed to my appointment uh, to see my baby. It's my last ultrasound. So I'm bringing you guys along with me today. So yeah, I'm headed out. I'm late as usual. Cause you know, bitch is always late. Jenna, can you grab my purse? Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when I get there. New hair, who this? New hair, who this? Fuck you talking about, bitch. Okay. What a great way to start the morning. I made it on time, y'all. Finally, I'm on time for something. What a do, bitches. Okay, so I just got done with my ultrasound. I wasn't able to record it, y'all. I'm so sorry. But my phone died. Luckily, I had a portable charger, but it didn't come back. It didn't come back um, on until it was done. But I'm about to show you guys what the pictures look like. Y'all, look at my baby. She looks so cute. So Looking cute. like her mommy, I think. Hopefully. Aww. See how much I'm weighing. Not too bad. Take off two pounds for the clothes. 
haven't gained that much weight. Um, I'm back from the doctor. It is a little bit later. I took a nap. I am about to pack my hospital bag. And this is the final thing that I have to do to prepare for labor and delivery as far as like stuff to do at home. So I've cleaned, um, done the pad sickles. I am... Um, steril I sterilized all her clothes and put them in the closet and I'm gonna show you guys that when I'm done with my hospital bag this last part of my pregnancy journey is all about relaxing and feeling comfortable so I've just been doing a lot of things for my own self-care to just feel as comfortable as possible so my mom told me to bring a cozy blanket probably can't fit in there huh probably just gonna have to take that on the go a cozy pillow so this is my favorite pillow I'm gonna take. Also can't fit in there, but I'm gonna bring it. Cozy socks, I have two pairs of cozy socks that I'm gonna put in there. A pair of black leggings. I'll probably go home in those. I have a nursing bra. I'm only gonna pack one nursing bra because I don't plan on being there longer than 24 hours, so I really only need one. I might pack two because you never know. Here's just a shirt, a t-shirt. Here's a set of pajamas. And they're nursing pajamas, like the straps on this disconnect so that I can easily breastfeed. Here's another set of leggings. Here's a headband for my hair to keep my hair out my face. I also have a towel and a washcloth. A pair of slippers that I'm going to put in there. I have my big Victoria's Secret robe. I have a bonnet. I have this little bottle of sanitizer, coconut butter, deodorant spray, a body wash, two hair brushes, toothpaste and a disposable toothbrush, some lotion, face wash, nipple covers, some nipple pad covers, a hemp's lotion. I absolutely love that. I have a charger. I also have a heating pad that I'm going to put into this bag. But it's at my mom's house, so I have to go get it. A fan. When I tell you a fan is a must-have, like, I definitely need this. But I'm going to put it in my purse because I use this every single day. Also, I have, like, my paperwork. So I need my birth certificate, driver's license, some forms for my child's father, and some other stuff like that. But that's all, you know, stuff that doesn't go in this bag. I'm pretty sure I don't need anything else. I'm going to wear slipper. I mean, some flip-flops to the hospital so i'm not gonna pack those in those in this bag but it's gonna be in there if you guys have any suggestions of anything else i should put in my hospital bag please let me know in the comments i'm literally going off of what the doctor told me in google so if anyone has any better suggestions let me know now it's time for me to pack my baby's bag i got this cute diaper bag i have two burp cloths this is a car seat cover so i have two baby hats and two mitts for her hands so that's gonna go in there um i have two onesies so i have two onesies that i'm going to put in there a swaddle a blanket this is like a little lightweight blanket because it is hot this summertime and then i have another swaddle this one is so cute and it's a little more fluffy, so I might use that one in the hospital. And that's really it for her bag. She doesn't need too much. The doctor told me that they would be giving me diapers there and pretty much everything she needs. That is packed.